Raise your hand if you never want your audience to look like this. Okay, good, I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. I don't want your audience to look like that either because wouldn't you agree if an audience is bored, they're not likely to want to work with you. That is actually the biggest sales killing mistake most advisors make when they're giving presentations is they rely too heavily on facts and figures and technical expertise. How do you maximize your delivery and thinking through in advance? You know, what are, not only do you want to say, but what's the order you say it and how do you connect with your audience? And she just spot on, absolutely spot on. I mean, you can tell, I mean, she has an, a really good speaking ability and so if she can kind of teach you what she does to make that same effect with your clients and your people you talk to, I mean, it's, it, was, it was contagious. I mean, you could hear in the crowd, people really yeah. just enjoy being there. Sure. You know, across the board, I think anyone would benefit from it. So far, she's the best of the day. If you're looking for a speaker who has the skills to command the attention of your audience for one hour or one day, look no further. Deirdre's presentations are high in energy and high in content. Advisors leave her talk saying her energy and message were contagious. She throws in humor and stories to get her point across, and I can use this right away to grow my practice. Meeting planners say, thank you for making me look good. We're talking about the changes going on in your industry, and if you want to get in front of that, this next idea is one of the ways you can do this. This is a game changer. So when you sell promises, ideas, and concepts, you need to make what you do as tangible as possible. Absolutely distinguish yourself from your competition. She was excellent, actually. In our world, it's so easy to be technical and inhuman, humanizing things, making them more tangible, more relatable. It's, a, it's always a good message to rehear and relearn again. Deidre's message was great. Shows us a better way to make better use of our time and connect with our clients and members. It was great to hear what she had to say and her method and technique, I think, are excellent for communication skills, and especially in our business where clarity of communication is about 90% of our job because <laughs> there's so much financial ease and lingo out there that are confusing. She's terrific and very poised and throws in humor and uh, yeah, it's she's very effective. Deirdre is well received by both male and female audiences and her concepts appeal to vets and new advisors alike. So when I talk with advisors, when they tell me, you know, seminars don't work, group presentations don't work, I'll say, well, how are you doing them? Tell me what you're doing. And I usually get one of three answers. So Mark likely did one of those three things. His results prove that. Luke, on the other hand, chose option four. So if you thought those were the only options, you're gonna learn about option four today. Option four is this. Luke knew that there's actually a formula you can use to structure your content in a way that gives the audience real value, has them enjoying the presentation, and gets them thinking, I wanna talk with that advisor. And what's beautiful is that when this is all done and all working together, what you as an advisor will end up with is a predictable, consistent, prospect converting machine. She's an international speaker and trainer specializing in the financial services industry and as one audience member put it, Deirdre is the real deal. The order of the story, the then, the now, and the how at the end. That was my big takeaway. It was a great message that all advisors need to take advantage of, definitely. She kept it lively, which is what most of us have a problem doing, especially in the financial services industry. She's very energetic. She's a phenomenal presenter. Really share with advisors the process that helps them yield you know, results. Oh, it was excellent, good practical. Definitely the part about storytelling and integrating that more, using dialogue more effectively. I liked it. First, you're going to learn, why should I tell stories? Why are they a powerful way to gain clients? Why should they be in my presentations? From there, you're going to learn how to craft your own story, a story that positions you as the expert, sells your services for you without you sounding salesy. When I took a look at my business in 2011, I realized I was spending a lot of time marketing myself, a lot of time running around to one-on-one -on -one coffee and networking meetings. Raise your hand if you spend some time doing that. It's not an efficient way to market yourself. It's not an efficient way to grow a business because you'll put a cap on your income and a cap on the amount of people that you can help. 
So I thought, well, I got to figure out a way. I got to figure out a way to reach more people in one hour in that same time I'd be in coffee than I'm reaching in the entire month. And that was the challenge I gave to myself. And so when I thought about this, speaking was the obvious answer. Does the thought of offering your services when you speak ever bring up worries or concerns that you might sound like this guy? That's my cousin from New York, so don't laugh too hard, okay? Isn't it awkward to go from expert and educator to salesperson? Is that awkward, right? Like that transition of like, how do I move from I'm being really helpful and I'm educating you to, hey, want to work with me? It's awkward. And you might even notice, if you've tried it, that your voice changes a little bit. Maybe you start sounding more like this, or maybe you start sounding like you're apologizing and you're like, well, here's this form and if you want to fill it out, you can. Compliance makes me have you sign in, but you don't have to really, I won't tell anyone. Deirdre is a certified world-class speaking coach a certified fearless living coach, the creator of the Speak and Get Results Blueprint, and the author of two books. Do you believe that? Do you believe that your thoughts are like 99% of your reality? Yeah, raise your hand if you, if you believe that, okay. Yeah, the way you think plays a massive role in the business that you have and the life you have. And so in order to fire your fear, to get to a place where fear is not driving your decisions, you have to have the right perspective. So let's uncover the lie, okay? There, there's a lie about fear that I bought into for years and that you might be buying into right now. It asks you, where are you playing defense? And I would like you to write down the top one or two places in your business that you're currently playing defense. And if you are not sure, look at the first page of those fears because that's where you're playing defense. So if you should be hiring someone and you're not, you're playing defense. If you could be delegating and you're not, you're playing defense. If there's people that you could be prospecting and you're not, you're playing defense, okay? Those are ways of playing defense. So do you see how cool that is? How awesome that is? Like when you can get comfortable being uncomfortable, when you know you can feel really strong emotions and you won't die, you will have this confidence inside of you that is an inner confidence that is something that situations can't take away from you. And I only told my husband and kids. Nobody. In fact, I've posted on Facebook, I'm about to do something that scares the heck out of me. I'll tell you when it's done. <laughs> Raise your hand if you believe in your goal more now than you did a few minutes ago before you told a group of people. Yeah, that's awesome. Who would be willing to share their goal with the group? Ooh, come back, I'll come back there. And at some point you have to draw a line in the sand that you're either going to choose a life of comfort or a life of growth. But you don't get to have both. I think she's great. I like the way she tells the stories. Her tips are simple to follow. The system she just talked about. We tend to focus on the facts and numbers when we do presentation. I think a lot of people here probably have the technical training of how to be a financial advisor. In terms of presentation skills, we, I don't believe we learned that in college. So if you're at a place in your career where you're ready to up the game, maybe you want more income. Maybe you want, like Mike, you want to work fewer hours or have fewer hours on marketing time. Maybe you want to help more people then I encourage you to make a decision today to learn how to speak and get results.